Good afternoon, Mike. This is Eric with Auto Fair Nissan. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. We'll do a quick little walk around of the 2022 Nissan Altima. This one is an SR all-wheel drive with the 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine, which puts out about 182 horsepower and about 178 pound-foot of torque. So it's certainly a car that gets up and gets out of the way. I opened up the doors and the hood, excuse me, the doors and the trunk um, so we can take a look at the car while it's opened up and then I'll get you inside so you can see the fit and finish of the vehicle. So um, here is the front fascia of the car. You notice the new Nissan badging. This particular Altima has 19 inch wheels and tires. can see the door opens nice and wide for an easy entrance and exit of any passenger that's getting in and out of the vehicle. We'll give that a shot. There we go. We'll come over to the back seat and the Altima being a mid-size sedan, there's plenty of room in the back seat for passengers to ride comfortably. All right. And then we will come around to the back. You can see the bumper has a chrome plate on the top of it. That is an upgrade for the vehicle to protect the bumper as you're moving things in and out of the trunk. And here is the trunk. You can see plenty of space. What you're seeing in there is floor mats and a rolled up cargo mat for the trunk as well. Both seats do go down on a 60-40 split if you need the extra room to carry lumber or I don't know, anything that's long, I guess. And you can see the trunk lid gets up and out of the way pretty well for easy access. Right before we go down, you can see that's the camera or the lens for the camera and that's the uh, the push button to open up the open up the trunk. And you can see the SR badging and the all-wheel drive badging. And we will come around to the driver's side. Gas tank is over on this side. Again, another look at the back seat. And then a look at the front from the driver's side. And before we get inside the car, just know that you are protected via Nissan safety features all the way around the car. If we go back to the front, you do, have, you do have forward collision alert with emergency pedestrian braking. So the car will assist you if a pedestrian shoots out in front of you. And then coming to the side of the car, you do have lane departure warning on both sides. So if you have a car in your blind zone on the highway, there's a light on the inside of the car that will light up letting you know the car is there. And then on the back, of course, you have your rear view camera. You also have rear parking assist as well with emergency braking. Uh, so if the car can pick up what's behind you and it feels like you're getting close enough, the car will assist you in slowing the vehicle down. So you're basically protected by radar all the way around the car. And now we're gonna get inside. Keyless entry. That's a nice feature. So when you come up and your key fob is in your pocket or in your hand, you just have to hit this button and it will unlock the door. This particular Altima has a power seat on the driver's side, power mirrors at the top, power locks and power windows with the driver's side being fully automatic. And bear with me while I get into the car. I'm gonna start it because it's hot. All right, so there is your driver information center in the middle. Um, there's a lot of information in there. Tire pressure monitoring system, oil life monitoring system. All your trip meters are in there and you can change that display to read out whatever it is that you want to say or what you want the car to say, excuse me. Your tachometer is on the left-hand side with the temperature gauge and on the right-hand side is your speedometer with your fuel gauge. 
there's your touchscreen radio. I'll throw the vehicle in reverse so you can get an idea what the backup camera looks like. You also have guidelines in there. I know they're kind of hard to see right now, but they're there. And they will turn as you turn the wheel to show you what's in the, uh, in the path of the direction that you're going. Uh, the vehicle is Apple CarPlay compatible. Uh, wire, it's not wireless. Have to wire in to take advantage of the Apple CarPlay, but it's uh, it's still a really nice feature. It obviously is Bluetooth compatible as well. Here are your steering wheel controls. Your cruise controls are right here. Your press to talk feature is right here. This is how you would answer and hang up a Bluetooth phone call, and this is how you would turn your cruise control off and on. And these buttons over here control the driver information center up there and this is your volume control uh, for anything that needs volume radio bluetooth whatever it might be the Altima does give you the option of shifting into l or manual mode it allows you to shift through your gears even though i know it's a cvd transmission but it does give you the feel like you're shifting through your gears and you will utilize these paddle shifters so it can give you a more of a sporty ride, but what it, it can also do is help you uh, downshift when you're on a slippery hill and you're going down and you want to utilize the car's engine to slow the vehicle down instead of the brakes. All right. I think that's about all that I have for you. I hope it was somewhat informative. Um, I will tell you one more thing that the seats on the interior are leather trimmed with a cloth middle. Okay, I can't see anything else. Um, I think we're covered. My number is 603-580-4503. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. Again, my name is Eric. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.